Hi, this is Manos Berlakis presenting case 72 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case illustrating crossing of a CTO due to instant stenosis going around the stand. The patient had multiple previous stent procedures of the right coronary artery when he returned with the current angina. He did not have any disease on the left coronary system. However, the stents were occluded. We now had uh, osteal occlusion of the right coronary with occlusion of the stents all the way to the PDA. Therefore, it was a very extensive area of occlusion. RA of you demonstrated that uh, there was filling of the PDA through an epicaldal collateral from the circumflex. And we did undergrade wire attempts, however, the wire very early went outside the stand struts and we were unable to redirect it within the stand. We performed some retrograde crossing attempts. This is a selective injection of the epicardial collateral going to the PDA. However, despite several attempts, there was more torchost in the vessel and we were unable to cross that um, epicardial collateral from the circumflex into the posterior descending artery. As a result, given the lack of other options, we performed undergrade knuckling all the way to the posterior descending artery. And then we attempted re-entry into the vessel. We did not want to um, do the star because that would mean we would lose all the end side branches. Therefore, we advanced the stingray balloon immediately distal to the previously placed stents. And we performed the stick and swap technique by advancing a stingray guide wire followed by a pilot 200 that crossed into the distal true lumen as confirmed from contralateral injection. We did a travascular ultrasound which shows what we knew already from the angiogram which is that we've crossed outside the previously placed stand. So we have essentially subintiman crossing path all the way from the posterior descending artery all the way up to the proximal right coronary artery. There are, however, some reports showing that lesions like this can be stented with favorable mid-term outcomes. And as a result, we placed the stents essentially crushing the previous stent all the way from the PDA to the ostium of the right coronary artery. And that did restore TIMI3 undergrade flow into the vessel intravascular ultrasound after the stent was crushed. This does demonstrate the double layer of stent. This is the new stent and this is the previous stent that is crushed on the outside of the vessel. However, there was good stent expansion and stent strut apposition of the newer stent. So in summary, lesions like this in stent restenosis that cannot be recanalized in any other way can potentially be treated by subintimal crossing followed by crossing of the previous stand. This is clearly not the preferred way to do it and this is only a last resort option. If every other attempt has failed, as was the case here, we had essentially no vessel proximally and retrograde attempts had failed. However, subintimal standing, crossing an old stand requires evaluation for long-term patency and it may be worthwhile to giving long-term dual interpretal therapy. Thank you very much.